Hello everyone, this is Ishwar Dayal Mato and today's video I'll be showing you how you can make a 3D model using 2D projections. So first of all go to start mechanical design and select the part design workbench in Katia. Once done click OK to it. Now we are ready to make any kind of sketch here. So for today's exercise, I have chosen this figure 2D projections. So as you can see here, two views are given. And using these two views, we have to make a 3D model. So as you can see, since two views are given here, so let us take if we'll take this one as a front view then this one will becomes as a top view to it so if you are approaching such kind of a problem try to make a front view first and pad it to our desired dimension and later we can go for the others operation that performed on that part so as you can see you can visualize here this is our front part for whole this 2d projection so select front plane and go for a sketch now select this profile and try to draw same profile what they mention in the front view Once turns click OK to it. Now we will try to constrain this part by giving suitable dimensions to it. So as you can see, we need to take all the dimensions what they mention in the projections view. No need to take any extra dimension here. So as you can see, they have mentioned this dimension. Now we have to edit this dimension. So for that, we can do it at a time. So for drawing or changing this dimension at a time, we need to select the option Edit Multi Constraint here. So click it once and drag it to a suitable place where we can see all the dimension and we can easily modify it to it so as you can see they have this given this dimension as 14 so keep 14 here this one they have mentioned 5 this one they have given 11 this one they have mentioned 31 I don't know why I'm getting this uh, sound while typing the magnitude value to it. Actually, I, I think I forgot to volume down my system. So sorry for that. So this one dimension, they have given 23. And this one, they have mentioned 67. So at the last dimension, they didn't mention the length value here. But you, once you will go to the top view of this object, you will find they have mentioned this dimension here. Once done, go for a preview. Once confirmed, click OK to it. Once done, go to exit workbench and we are ready to pad it. So how much length we have to pad this part? This one we can find in this view here. So as you can see, this is our front view and they have extruded or pad this part up to 20 length, 28 length, sorry. Select this portion, give 14 and select mirror extend here. Once turns, click OK to it. So as you can see, we have drawn the front view. But uh, when we see from the top, we will not find the lines what they mention in this view. We are getting these lines, these lines, 
but we are not getting this pocket part also because of this pocket we are getting this header line here this also we are not getting yet so for that we need to make a rectangular pocket in this part which going to be cut up to the last surface of this part so select a face top face and go for a sketch here so here we will try to draw one rectangle take center rectangle and try to constrain it excuse me this one they have mentioned 19 this one they have mentioned 24 and this one they have mentioned 14 to 8 once done click ok to it and go for pocket option here select the profile and instead of giving magnitude value here now we have to go this time for part and select up to the last so it will go and it will cut the material till the last so this is how we can make a 3d model using our 2d projections lines so this one was a pretty basic video to it so in my later video i will be covering some more exercises and by doing more exercises we will gain the confidence and we will visualize any 3d model and quickly we can make a 3d model by reading this 2d drawings so thanks for watching this video guys if you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day